Tonight, best say case scenario, dad and the mom. Am I a bigot? Nope, I'm just going to call you wrong. You're taking mother nature and you're throwing it right out the window. And I just think it's crazy. The far left press on the attack once again, this time hammering people who have reported on Mary Cheney's pregnancy. We'll have the latest. You are about to enter the no spin zone. The fact begins right now. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thank you for watching us tonight. What do Mary Cheney and illegal immigrants have in common? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Last week, we did a segment on Ms. Cheney's pregnancy and her desire to raise a child in a lesbian household. The segment was respectful, even mild. We discussed the role that fathers play in the lives of children and what the lack of a dad might mean. Well, there was immediate outrage on the far left. The loony websites cranked up their propaganda, accusing me of demeaning Miss Cheney and gay parents in general. Well, that nonsense was picked up by two far left columnists at the very liberal, very liberal Seattle Post Intelligencer. The secular progressive pipeline strikes again. Now, the strategy here is to intimidate any discussion about gay parenting, no matter how benign. If you question anything, you're homophobic, a bad person. The SPs believe there's no difference between gays raising kids in a mom-dad situation. The SPs also believe there's no difference between gay marriage and straight marriage. And if you disagree, the SP press will try to hurt you. Same thing is happening on the illegal immigration front today. Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney signed a deal with Homeland Security allowing 30 state troopers to detain illegal aliens in Massachusetts if they come upon them at traffic stops. Well, the SPs who want open borders are appalled. The Boston Globe, a far left bastion, knew Governor Romney was going to make the deal. So two weeks ago, the Globe ran a story saying that Romney used illegal aliens to landscape his property. The Globe even sent a reporter to Guatemala to talk with one of the gardeners. Turns out Rodney had hired a legitimate landscaping company and had no idea who was cutting his grass. I employ a landscaping company. They check out fine. The owner told me all his workers are legal. But how do I know if that's true? I have no power to question these people. I have to take his word. Now, the factor analyzed the Boston Globe's coverage of illegal immigration in the month of November. The paper ran 12 different stories using the term illegal immigrant a total of 19 times. The Globe prefers to write, to write immigrant, not illegal immigrant. They don't like to use the terms illegal immigrants. But in the Romney story, the Globe used the term illegal immigrant 11 times. Clearly, the story was a hit piece on Romney. Take a look at this picture in the New York Times today. That paper owns the Boston Globe and comes from the same secular progressive point of view. The grief shown in this picture is in response to a federal raid on meatpacking plants that have hired hundreds of suspected illegal workers. More on that coming up. So summing up, you're a bad person if you want immigration laws enforced or if you question alternative families and other SB causes. And because you're a bad person, these media fanatics will try to hurt you. That's where we are in America today. No spit. And that's a memo. Now to the top story tonight, there is actually a lively debate within the gay community itself over child rearing. Joining us now from Washington, Jennifer Chrysler, Executive Director of Family Pride, and here in the studio, Nora Vincent, author of the new book, Self-Made Man. Okay, um, Nora, I, did, I don't know whether you saw the segment, but we gave you the transcript, you saw the articles. I mean, I was like Mr. Kind. <laughs> well, I, I was like Mr. Cupcake. So why are they, why are they attacking me? Well, it's a, it's a difficult issue to raise. It's a very loaded issue. I think you are raising a, a good question. You know, fathers in the home are important. I think most people recognize that. But when you raise it in the context of gay marriage and gay adoption, it becomes very loaded and difficult. And well, explain that. I mean, look, all I want to know is that if the dad isn't present, what the deficit is, if there is a deficit, that's what we discussed. All of a sudden, the SPs are after me. I'm demeaning lesbians. I'm demeaning gays. And it's hysteria. Is it not hysteria? 
Well, I think the debate gets ratcheted up, and I think you're right. The, the question at hand is really, what is the influence of a father? If in the best of all possible worlds you could have a male and female influence, would that be preferable? And I guess the answer, or when you say, is there a deficit, it's hard to say. There are many ways in which there could be a deficit. Possibly, certainly, but you know, on the other hand, if you have a mother and a father in a situation, you plug them in, that doesn't necessarily mean that doesn't it's necessarily, be. but that is what nature dictates, Ms. Chrysler. And all I'm saying is if you want to be an alternative family, you've got to study the issue about the lack of a dad or the lack of a mom with guys. Do, is, is that unreasonable, madam? Yeah, you know, look, the reality is, is that research has been done and, and there is 30 years of that research and it's incontrovertible. There is no deficit. Children do equally as well when they have two moms and two dads or whether they have a mom and a dad. Well, and that's your story. You, really you concerned... know the Family Research Council and all the other have all the other data says that is not the case, that there is a something missing in the emotional realm. But I don't even want to get into that. Nature dictates that a dad and a mom is the optimum, does it not? No, because the reality is, is there's bad dads and bad moms. The nature doesn't dictate are... that. So what you're yeah. saying to me is, is that a lesbian couple and a gay guy couple are just as uh, equipped to raise a child as heterosexual parents. That's what you're saying. Absolutely. Yeah, without no a doubt. Because no love, difference. stability, commitment, kindness, caring, values, morals, discipline, guidance, that's what really makes good parents. And if we want to be worried about what we're going to talk about here, we should talk about what are the qualities of a parent that really make a difference for right. a child. Well, I and disagree that's with you. I'm going with nature. I'm going with Miss Vincent. I'm going with that. I'm throwing in with Mother Nature here, and I'm going best case scenario, dad and a mom. Am I a bigot? No, you're not a bigot for saying that, but nature is procreation. And we're talking about something cultural called parents. No, I'm talking about raising kids. I'm talking about, I know there are bad parents. I, well, there's I nothing know, inherent in I, I know there are good gay parents. Right. I, absolutely. Okay. All right? But I'm talking optimum, best for the kid, having a mom and a dad. You gonna call me a bigot for that? Not at all. No. It's are you gonna Miss Chrysler? Are you call me a bigot for that? Nope. I'm just gonna call you wrong. Wrong. Which you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I mean, why would why wouldn't nature then make it that anybody could get pregnant by eating a cupcake? You know, <laughs> you know, you well, just have, throw. You take Mother people, Nature. You know the old <laughs> commercial. Don't fool around with Mother Nature. What you're doing is you're taking Mother Nature and you're throwing it right out the window. And I just think it's crazy. I really do. And, and it's not based on religion or morals or any. You're a good person nor is a good person. All right. Uh, but it's just that you just say, hell with nature. The hell with it. We're going to do what we want. It's just as good. And you guys um, are crazy. And that's what you're saying. Yeah. No, I think what we're saying is there's a difference between being able to conceive and the quality of your parenting. And, you know, I actually agree with Nora on this. What makes a parent is about love and commitment, energy, guidance, discipline. But you won't admit that um, optimum a mom and a dad in the house the best. You will not admit it. Absolutely, because the research supports the fact that that isn't true. Uh, that your children research. Do equally as well. There's other research. I'm giving Nora Levinson the last word. All I can say is I think there are many other factors. You can have heterosexual parents who may have other problems, whether it be drug problems. Of we course. need to address And you can have gay parents that have the same. So this is not just a gay issue. It's a parenting issue in general. All right. I think it's a nature issue, but, you know. <laughs> but ladies, we appreciate the discussion very lively. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Next up.